In 2011, I was watching a video of a young child who could speak 11 languages fluently. This child was no more than about six years old. Now, keep in mind, I'm from Atlanta. The way I'm speaking to you now with the proper cynic structure and enunciation is not actually how I talk, y'all. The way I actually talk is like this. <laughs> but I digress. <clears throat> A little further down, there was another child, roughly about the same age, who could play the violin as though they were in a symphony or an orchestra. Needless to say, I was impressed, if not a little jealous. Show of hands how many people here has kids. Kids, 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 kids. Wouldn't you want your child to be able to do something extraordinary at a young age? Something amazing? Frank, kids, right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you want your child to be able to do something amazing and extraordinary at a young age? Mm -hmm. why, why, why wouldn't we want it? Why not? <clears throat> so why is the phrase, they are too young, to learn, even in, our, even in our vocabulary. I believe we can all agree that between the ages of birth and five, a child's mind is like a sponge soaking up as much information as they can possibly grab, whether it's good, positive information it's crappy information. Information like Bugs Bunny, Tom and Jerry, SpongeBob. <coughs> Things like Baba, Wawa, or Blinky. Does anybody here call it a Blinky? Or Wawa? Would you like some Wawa? <coughs> <coughs> right. She's telling herself. <laughs> In those same 20 minutes they were sitting there watching Spongebob or Bugs Bunny or Tom and Jerry, they could have been learning something education, <clears throat> useful, to their, useful to their development. In the same breath that we say, that we use as parents, would you like a blankie? We could have asked the child simply, would you like a blankie? Same breath. Would you like some wah wah? We could have simply said, Would you like some more? In the same exact breath that we asked them, Would you like the bye bye? We could have simply said, You want a bottle? <clears throat> but now that child has to go back later on in life and relearn words that we could have simply taught them in the beginning, but they were too young. So why is it that we place those limitations on, on them? Why is it that we place limitations on others? Simply because it's something that we're not accustomed to, or it's something that we did not achieve. Going back a little bit, that same 2011, right after I watched those videos, I went out and I bought my daughter a box set of books and DVDs entitled, My Baby Can Read. You must be familiar. <laughs> I stand in Bibles. By the age of three, she could read small books, cat and hat level books. By the age of four, she was reading the Bible. By the age of five, she was reading novels. Books that I wouldn't even read as an adult. Give me the movie. I'm not going to sit here and watch Lord of the, uh, read Lord of the Rings. I'm not going to do that. But I'll watch the movie. To me, that was amazing. That was astonishing that my child would do that. And I told you this story because I wanted you to ask the question, why not? Why not teach somebody at a young age? Why not give somebody the benefit of the doubt that they have the ability to do that? 
whatever it is they're trying to achieve. Before, before it was done, nobody believed that a four minute mile was possible, that a human being could run four minutes and make a mile. But in 1954, it happened, shocked the world. And now, thousands of people, thousands of people have done that four minute mile. <clears throat> because now they know it's possible. So I ask the same question again, why not? Specifically becomes more valid when we say that this is humanly possible. It can be done. But just because I didn't achieve it, you probably won't do it. You probably can't do it. How selfish is that? So I challenge each and every one of them, just as I had to challenge myself to stop placing my limitations on someone else, not just children, adults as well. And don't allow someone else to play their, place their limitations upon you. <clears throat> Why? The next time somebody comes to you and you have a great idea, an opportunity for yourself to be amazing, to be extraordinary, extraordinary. And they look at you and say, why? Why do you want to be extraordinary? Look at them and say, what was that? Why not? Why not?